Hey, you kids want to see what a possum's nipple looks like? All right, goodbye, little man. Joel Saladin, if that is your real name. Take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some... This is my child. Well, 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 well. Would you take a look at this, you guys? If it isn't my daughter, Poppy. And several adorable grandchildren that are mine, biologically. That's right. These are my biological grandchildren and today we're going to be giving them some raspberries that's the video today nothing crazy nothing fancy just giving raspberries to my daughter and her grandkids come on puppy have a little oh, have a little bite i don't want her to bite my finger because i feel like i feel like that would hurt oh wow take a look at that this is a little asmr for you guys a little treat you don't get this very often at the urban rescue ranch you don't get this very often at all i wanted to thank you guys all for 800,000 subscribers i love you and i appreciate you so i thought i'd make a little video for you guys where i just cut these little apples up and give them to poppy ah, how about that Ooh, ooh, be careful here wow look at those little babies and i suppose we'll start by giving her this little apple slice here there we go very nice very nice, and she's gonna turn that right into milk for these adorable little babies. Look at those little tails. A baby right there, and a little baby right there. Wow, don't mind if I do. Look at that adorable little face. Look, I'm poking your baby. See, she doesn't even care. I'm just poking her baby right now. You guys, take a look at these adorable little toes. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at how small they are. Stop being so shy, you little dingus. It's amazing that she'll let me just kind of scratch her even when she's got seven babies. What an honor and a privilege it is to get to interact with this, you guys. And I am so, so thankful that I get to show you guys this on our vidges. This is very, very cool. May I have one of these adorable little babies, Poppy? Could I, could I take one, please? Could I please take a child? Could I have a child, Poppy? Please, Poppy, a child for me. I think he's suckling. Oh, there he is. Got him. I'll trade you an apple slice for a little infant of yours. This is mine now. This is my child. Look at this little adorable thing. Oh, awesome. Now they're finally getting comfortable around me. They're finally coming out and eating some of the apples that Poppy already chewed up, as you can see. Now we're finally going to be able to see a good count on how many there are. I see at least four right now, but I think there's five, maybe six or seven even. Look at them all chewing on these little raspberries. Wow, you guys, just look at that. Every one of these is part of Poppy's DNA. They're just mini poppies. This literally cured my depression. There you go, you guys. If you want to cure your depression, go out and rescue an orphaned opossum and then raise her to the point where she grows up and she's ready to go back into the wild and then simply release her, but keep a little bit of food and water nearby so she doesn't just die and then let her get knocked up. That's it. That's all you have to do. That will cure your depression. Oh my goodness. And they all look just like me, you guys. I told you she was mine. These are my grandkids and you can tell they all look exactly like me. Oh, look, this one found a little bit of apple. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. I think six under there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six of them. There's six, maybe seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how many there are. I count one, two, three. But this is amazing, you guys. This is the miracle of life. I have never felt like more of a proud father than this moment. She literally just lets me pick him up now. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this little man. Look how precious he is. He came out of her little extended uterus. How's about I just take all these guys and just keep them in my house for the rest of eternity? How's about we just keep these little guys for forever. Poppy vented in a mogus? All right, whatever, Poppy has babies, whatever. Look at these pigs. Look at this adorable, big, beautiful girl and this handsome, big, beautiful man. Just for a bit of wind protection, I'm gonna go ahead and take this tarp and wrap this around at least the back here. Wow, look at these adorable little, cool, got you, got you, got you in the cheek. But basically, this is a little homeless camp for the pigs. And in here, there's plenty of nice ventilation through these little cracks here, but we also have a good wind coverage and, uh, and good coverage at the top for whenever it gets really hot. Not to mention that in the summer, uh, this tree is gonna be in full bloom and it's gonna have shade for 90% of the day. Today, we're also gonna be building a little lean-to that we're gonna cover up this stuff here. This way, the animals can get in and get a little bit of shelter if it starts to rain real bad, or it can just be a cover for the compost. So we're just gonna 
drill some holes here, 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 and here. And much like the roof of the chicken coop, we're really just trying to save some money and use what we have in the barn. And I told myself I would never buy lumber ever again. So sorry, Poppy, I'm taking this little thing here. I'm still gonna get some turf grass and put it over top of this thing. It's gonna make it look like a little hobbit hole. I'm gonna cover that for wind protection too, just in case it gets cold one more time. Hey, it's me, Editing Ben. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect Also, I should not have been doing this with a broken hand. This probably undid weeks of recovery. Okie doke, I'm working on that tent over there by myself, behind me, that's me. All those people are me working on that tent by myself. All these people back there, that's me working on that tent by myself. But this way we have this little homeless shelter here for the pigs. We're gonna have a nice little lean-to right here for these guys. And then whenever I cross fence this, we're gonna have one other little tent over there and we're not gonna have to pull permits for any of that. Okay, I'm off to get more gas for the auger, but look at all these adorable babies. I don't know why she feels the most comfortable here with this cage but I have this zip tied, so it's not gonna close on them. Look how precious they are. Oh my goodness. Big Ounce has been loving this new setup I have for them. The little plapa here is in timeout because she keeps biting my ankles. Look at her, she's like, please, please let me out. I promise I'll do it again. But look at this adorable little baby man. By the way, you guys, I always wash my hands in between playing with different animals. Well, that's probably obvious. I feel like I need to say that. Don't just go play with a bunch of different animals without washing your hands. But all right, goodbye, little man. Take a look at this, you guys. Wow, look at this. Oh, oh yeah, baby, woo! Well, 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 well. Who wants an apple? Do you want an apple, little man? Would you care for a little bite of this apple? I'm just gonna put it on your brother's head. Ew, is that, ew, that's what her nipples look like. Hey, you kids wanna see what a possum's nipple looks like? Just filmed several very cringe TikToks for you guys. But all right, that's about it. I've shown you enough of Poppy's undercarriage and I think it's time to go. Hey, Kevin, found this squatter on my property and I think Kevin's in love with him. But Luke came back out to help. Look at this handsome, alpha. beautiful, beautiful man. Kevin's just terrified of him. It's amazing. Well, the squatters that made a home in our property are now living in there with the pigs. Pretty soon he'll be claiming squatters rights. But look how they already just love this enclosure. This is wonderful. Look at those wise eyes and that beautiful, beautiful complexion. Mm, mm, mm. Don't mind if I do. We all just vibing in the homeless shelter. Great enclosure, 10 out of 10. Uh, now I challenge you, Goldshaw Farm, Justin Rhodes, White House on the Hill, make an enclosure better than this. I dare you. Try and make a nice enclosure at an affordable price. Go ahead, Justin Rhodes, if that is your real name. Go ahead, make a better pig enclosure than this. Go ahead, Joel Saladin, if that is your real name. Go ahead, make a better pig enclosure than this. What's that, Morgan Gold? You don't think you can make a better... <laughs> What's that, Morgan Gold? You don't think you can make a better pig shelter than this? <gasps> Aww. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Next, we need to go ahead and make this lean-to. The auger stopped working, uh, so I'm kind of panicking. I only needed to drill one more hole. What's that, White House on the Hill? You can build a beautiful family, but you can't make a beautiful pig shelter like this. I am the best farming YouTuber alive. <laughs> okay, just finished this hole. We should be ready now. And all those people over there are also me finishing that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some concrete to fill this in so these things will be real sturdy. Okay, this is what I'm thinking it's gonna look like for now. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do for the roof yet, but we're definitely gonna do something. Hello, Mr. DeBaby. How are you today, sir? You feeling better today? All right, I'm off to go get some pliers and some ingredients for Luke's world famous Fortnite burger, he calls it. Burger time! You take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie. It's me, the Urban Rescue Ranch. Okay, it only took all night, but I did this all by myself. <laughs> Several fellas at the barn at Urban Rescue Ranch. Several burgers ready to be burned. All right, I suppose it's time to end the day with a little bit of burger. And we're gonna look at, oh. 
Would you like a little Fortnite burger, Poppy? How's about we make you a little Fortnite burger? Now look at that little baby's head. Well, guys, it's been a lovely evening. It's been a lovely evening indeed. I finally got little coops in here with nesting boxes for these chickens. Now I can go in there and get all the eggs from there. And they have a safe place to make their nests. The ducks are enjoying swimming around on their second pond. That's right, they got two ponds. Morgan and Donald Trump are relaxing at the pond. And we're done eating our Fortnite burger, so I'm gonna take the ones that I burnt miserably. Also, this is Poppy's new area. As you can see, I put this little turf grass on here. She's just sleeping with her babies. Would you like some Fortnite burger? All right, Poppy, enjoy that bacon now. Gave the rest of Luke's bacon to these adorable chickens and now they're fighting over it. It's okay, kids, there's plenty for everyone. Should be able to fit these right through these cracks. That's perfect. Basically just hockey pucks the way I cook them. And this is an all beef patty, so we'll give some to you as well, sir. <laughs> but none for you to baby because you're a vegan. <laughs> Here you go, Poggers, enjoy that burnt burger. Good night to baby. We love you. We appreciate you. Love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching my video and we'll see you in the... Oh, I almost forgot to talk. Ah, uh, just kidding. Oh, that's my rooster crowing. Please like this video. Please like this video right now. Also, this art was made by <laughs> Caroline Cornstar.